Hello Zebra and welcome back to the Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle Donkey Kong Adventure. I just loaded up the game and this popped up. Uh, Beepo telling us about something. Finding all the missing puzzle pieces should solve the puzzle, in fact. So I guess all these puzzle pieces we found are adding up to something. I guess it brought us back this way, which is fine. But we'll be starting World 2 today. I'm gonna be trying to make as much progress in it as possible. We could be poking around and adventuring this overworld, but I figure we can do that at some other point in time. Now it would be good just to head back into the adventure and yeah, see if we can't get that second key, or at least, you know, start our adventure towards the second key um, and see how everything goes. But yeah, that should be pretty fun. I've been having a ton of fun with this game so far, and hopefully you have been too. Uh, the support has been insane for the first two episodes, so I'm sure you guys have. Sorry the episodes have been slow. I've been a very busy zebra this week. I'm so sorry. But yeah, we need to go down this way, go through the coral pipe, and the World 2 should be just waiting for us on the other side. I'm pretty sure we updated all of our Battle HQ. Oh, did we never get that? I'm pretty sure we got that, it just didn't save. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead into the first level of World 2 and see what we might have to deal with. It looks like I already see his master defeat eight enemies. What's with the water squirting out here? Those fountains are exact likenesses of Buana, Buanahini spitting goatfish. At the end of our turn, they spit water, rude. The range is, uh, is limited, but the stream is powerful enough to push us, even damage us, wow. What about the Smashers, will it hurt them? At least even enemies are affected by them in the same way, so that's something, I suppose. In fact, they're so tired of being hosed down, morale is low, defeat enough, and the rest will flee, ending the battle. So we don't have to defeat all of them. We just need to defeat eight of them. So we'll have to end up seeing you know, who's gonna be good with that. We'll have to pay attention to uh, where everything is, but I think for right now, we're gonna go ahead and probably hide about here. I think that'd be good. We can toss that this way and have some fun with that. That'll be pretty cool. So that should bounce you, do some extra damage. Ooh, out of bounds as well, so that's some good stacking damage right there. Um, we'll go ahead and pick up those bananas. I'm going to go ahead and bring, I guess Rabbit Peach this way, I feel like would be a better idea. But let's try to mess with this Smasher and his friends and whatever else we can. I don't know if Cr Rabbit Cranky's gonna be able to do any damage with this. Not looking like it. I could put him here, but the danger there, of course. Okay, you know what? We'll just keep you sort of farther back, and I think that might end up being better. Or we could just bring you some totally different direction, try to figure something else out with you. Maybe something like this could be good. Uh, and then when it comes down to it, we could hit you with this, we could hit you with that. I think that we want to go ahead and do Stink Eye. And then we want to probably activate uh, Hairy Eye for you. I don't know if this will turn out so well, but we're about to find out. <laughs> okay, so go ahead and do the Hail Mary. That should be pretty good. All right, catch. And that should do damage both to you and maybe the Ziggy, uh, I guess not. Anyways, you'll start moving. I wish you were a little bit closer for this, but maybe we'll get a good critical. Oh, it did hit your friend back there, which is pretty decent. And then DK, he'll see ya. He's gonna hit you with, your koi f with the Koi Fish. All right, but he's gonna keep moving, but that's it. Okay, perfect. So now at this point where he is, I think that I'll be able to attack him like this, finish him off. Very good, I can't quite hit him with this, but that's fine. Let's just go ahead and boop, got him, okay. So that's a golden shot as well, we get a couple bananas for it, but I can't quite get him at the moment. Should I get him like this, or like, I think we should do this and see what ends up happening. And hopefully that'll keep Peach protected, or Rabbit Peach protected for a little bit. We'll get the shield up just in case. We already got one rabbit down. The spitting statues are going to spit and then they're gonna be ready to spit next time. They'll have to be careful, we'll have to be careful. Now this guy, is he just gonna yeah, move right into the blast range? That'll make him mad. But I don't know what he did there, I don't know if he weakened us, I think he made us more vulnerable to attacks, looks like it, but this guy missed, so so far all the scary opponents are already been being taken out pretty quickly. I mean, that could have been better, but it could have been worse for sure. Okay, there's lots going on here. I think that we're gonna be able to get a good amount of damage done over to some of these guys. What I think I'll do, Oh gosh, there's some guys popping up. Oh, there's always so many options. Uh, I think that DK, you should probably pick up these bananas, grab you, uh, go back, I guess about, hmm, here sounds good to me. That way we can throw you this way. The only problem is that gonna damage Rabbit Peach? It will, but this won't. Okay, let's go ahead and try that out. Oh gosh, you're gonna hit DK. That should be fine. We'll be taking a little bit extra damage, but it's not the end of the world. And this should, 
help increase the amount of damage we're doing to everybody, because we'll throw him, it'll do some damage like that, do some nice freezing damage. Not taking anybody out, unfortunately. But this will take care of only one of them, I suppose, which is sort of a shame. You know what I could do? Before we go above and beyond with that, I could actually, yeah, tackle all of these guys, go about this way, Oh, this could be perfect. Oh, this could be several different kinds of perfect because remember, Rabbit Cranky has yet to move. So there's three more opponents taken out plus the Smasher before we're already halfway done with four opponents taken down. So now, Rabbit Cranky, uh, can you reach Rabbit Peach? I would, yeah, I would sure hope so. So we could go ahead and, I wonder if we could, oh, that would be a little bit too much, unfortunately. Uh, that's fine, that's fine. We could just go ahead and do this do that, but try to make sure I pay attention to where Peaches, which I do, and then we should be good. Look at this, boom, you're frozen, your friend's frozen, and then I should just be able to hit you dead on with this, perfect. So what is that now, six in total? We're doing pretty well for ourselves if you ask me. Uh, there's nobody to put asleep around here. I mean, yeah, the only guys up aren't up yet, <laughs> so they're not up at all. So we're just gonna leave it as it is because there's not really too much we can do. Spinning statues are gonna spit. I actually haven't been factoring that in. They could have actually damaged uh, Rabbit Cranky there. That would have stunk. So this guy should be hopping out of the ground. Two smashers. I really hope they don't move this turn, but they might. Ah, oh, they do. That sort of stinks. Oh well. That's gonna hurt DK, but hopefully it won't be too bad. It wasn't too bad. He has his friends now, which I don't like. But you know what we could do is we need to destroy two more of them. And we have two more here, what do you know? I'm gonna go ahead and squish you. You know what, I would rather squish this, but we could do that. Let's go ahead and call you guys over. Play those bongos, it's just really this guy we're bringing over. And then what we're gonna do, I mean this might anger them, which is the problem. So if I could actually move around like this, I think, maybe that'd be a bad idea. But I'll try it, let's see what ends up happening. Cause I'll throw it, it'll do some damage to them, and I'll also bounce them. One of them gets bounced out of bounds, which is always great. And then you're pretty low, but not low enough for my tastes, for my standards. Uh, so we're gonna move you this way. I guess that's okay. I mean, it's sort of the kind of the best we can do at the moment with Rapid Peach. I mean, I guess she could have maybe gone the other way, or sometimes there was an undo button, but that'd make things easier. And then let's try to get you just like this. That should be okay. But then we have one more we gotta take out. So things are getting a little iffy. I don't know if I did this in the right way. That'll do okay damage, but if I could, ooh. Okay, well, can DK go for this guy? He could. Hmm. I mean, he's within range fall asleep, which is always great, but I don't know, it's hard to say. Like, I think that we might wanna start with this and then maybe DK can do something. Let's try it, let's see what ends up happening. Boom, gotcha, you're gonna hit Rabid, Cranky, which stinks, but hey, it's fine. Because uh, we can just heal you back up if we wanted to, uh, just like this. Yep. And the next turn, we're definitely winning. I just hope that's in the par that we need. I don't know, that might turn out pretty well. I don't remember what the uh, critical is for the Koi Banana. Oh, is this in range of sleep? It's not, but if we attack you, it might be. So let's go ahead and try that out. Oh, it's gonna be a critical bounce. Will that be enough to take him out? Not quite. So he just sort of is where he is. We'll have to take him out next turn. Spitting statues are going to spit. Oh no, they actually, oh no, they knocked Peach off. That's actually really bad. But I guess it'll be okay. These guys are gonna pop up. Couldn't care less about them. This guy has two health. Two health, that's not fair. Please don't take care of DK, please don't. They actually might get rid of him. And if they do, that'll probably not be our golden, which stinks. Okay, they're not going to. No, he will, maybe. Oh boy, that was close. Oh, that was it, thank you. Okay, that was super duper lucky, but let's just go ahead and smash the floor like good old DK does. And that should be uh, a golden shot, which is good, but more importantly, that's it one. Oh, and they're running, they're fleeing, they get out of here, they're like, oh gosh. Ha, coward, see how they run? They're out of my league. All right, cool, so, battle cleared. Do we got the green, do we get the perfect? I sure hope so. Will not tell us? Hold on, come on. Yeah, four out of four, so if we did that any worse, we wouldn't have. Okay, so we get another 450 bananas, we get ourselves 700 for the completion. That's a lot of bananas, I appreciate it.
So, let's keep going with that. All I gotta do now is go to our weapon selection. Who needs the next weapon upgrade? I mean, we could go ahead and move over to this, but I don't really know if I like that. I would love to upgrade this, because we're out of 55 to 65. We get that to 65 to 75. I think it would be better against Ziggy's, but, hmm. They're both bounced, right? Oh, hard to say. I think that we would be better off against Ziggy's with this, because we only want to bunch up a bunch of people. It's just Ziggy's are weak enough out of it. We're just gonna go ahead and get this one. But we should read each one. This is Ziggy Zapper 2. Ziggy's who may have mocked the first iteration of this ground pound are in for a big surprise. Then we have the Smasher Thrasher. Ideally suited for those short-tempered simpletons. Smashers, or don't tell them we call them simple, okay? Uh, so we'll just go ahead and do the Smasher one. 750 seems pretty good to me. And then if we could upgrade, I think Rabbit Peach's main weapon could use an upgrade, but we don't have any kind of weapon bonus for that right now. Same thing for a uh, Rabbit Cranky, but we do have some more secondary upgrades. So we have the Shell and Melon. Uh, things getting hot on the battlefield. Why not offer your enemies a bite of juicy, refreshing slaughter melons? Your percent trans fat, no GMOs. And then we also have the Bomb and Ramen. One tear, tear open lid, two pour boiling water inside, three wait for three minutes, four enjoy kicking your enemies, but chopsticks not included. So this is ink. This is Vamp, I love Vamp so much. We're just gonna go ahead and do that one. Still haven't actually ran into Bucklers, but maybe sooner or later, and it does some extra damage, which is great. So that's all I can definitely afford for right now, but if we go to the skill tree, how many points do you have, DK, you have three. What did we wanna save up for? I think we wanted to save up for the enemy throw damage, boost it to 70s, pretty gosh darn huge. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, Robin Peach only has one point. And I forget what we wanted for her. I think we wanted to increase her heal a little bit more. So we might want to hold out and wait. Yeah, I'm thinking we'll hold out and wait until we have three points for her. Uh, when it comes to Rabbit Cranky here, I think that one of his best moves is still definitely going to be his, uh, what's it called? His Grump Jump, which is maxed out right now. And same thing with his Grump Jump range. We could try his dash damage, but beyond that, I think it would be interesting to move on over to uh, either Stink Eye, which has an 80s up to 80% instead of 70, or we could do the long story range times to multi Stink Eye. Oh, I remember that. That can be really good against Smashers. You know what, we're gonna save up for that one. And that's sort of the fun thing about playing through this story mode, is that I can play it with the hindsight that I've had for the previous adventure through the main story, which is awesome, because I can hopefully make more educated choices. We got a DK barrel that way. I think that's the way I'm supposed to head, so if I go this way, maybe I can get something done. Oh, I see what I gotta do here, so, well, sort of, kind of. I need to get both of these activated. The best way to do that, I think, would be to, I mean, we can do that. Okay, that's sort of not gonna work, though, unfortunately. Uh, oh, that's weird. Oh, that's really weird. Oh, I no, 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 I got this, I got this. I gotta push this one like that. Yeah, yeah, that, no, that won't work. Oh, that's really bizarre. No, 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 I can make that work. I was getting confused, but it works. Just press this like that, press this like that, and boom, we got it solved. What does this chest have for us? Look at those two rabbits having some fun. Uh, Side Eye Sanctuary, cool. Can I see those guys having fun? Yes, I can. Look at them go. They're obsessed with catching fish, but I have no idea how to how care for how care for them. But have no idea how care for them. What? Am I misreading that? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's move this way. Got a bunch of birds flying around. This area is so pretty. Look at this guitar. Take a look at this. With bananas on the top. Imagine the metal storm of skull rattling rock you could summon with the gods from the gods of Thrash if you could wield this axe. And that's one way to put it. And here we go, we're at level two already. So I'll be trying to complete level two in today's episode. We'll have to wait and see. Stop the smugglers. Where are the smugglers at? So these are different from the collectors. Oh yeah, these smashers, we've got to take these guys down. This is interesting, they have bananas on their heads. <laughs> the smuggler, banana loving bootleggers. Okay, hmm, while this slovenly sluggard may look like a smasher, it's not, it's a smuggler. They're delivering bad bananas all over the island to aid their corrupted colleagues, they must be stopped. Oh boy. Do they have to get to there? Do we have to stop them? Smugglers must be defeated before they reach the other side of the battlefield. If they escape, we lose. Ooh, interesting twist. I like that. So let's take a look at the tactic cam real quick. Uh, how many, oh, there's a couple of smugglers. 
There's one right here. Am I supposed to stop all of them? Like even if just one of them gets there, that's a little concerning. So we'll do what we can. Donkey Kong hiding is really funny looking. I think that will go ahead and get you up here. I mean, can Donkey Kong, he can't get up this one. Can he get up this one? He cannot get up that one. That's a bit concerning, but we could just get him out as far as possible. Throw, you know what, I feel like if we're throwing anybody, we should be throwing Cranky Kong because he'll actually have that extra blast from it. So if we could get you over this way, then I guess Rabbit P should handle the other ones. I mean, it's our best bet, right? Well, we could do some good damage like this. Yeah, that's perfect, okay. And while we're doing that is though hopefully we can draw these guys back towards us. That's gonna be sort of kind of our best bet. So get 60 damage on you, it's that nice freeze damage. Uh, target's out of sight, but I could call them over, which is perfect. Um, you can reach him over that way. I think we're gonna go ahead and give this a shot. Yeah, it seems pretty perfect. And it's a critical, so you're gonna get mad and you're gonna get on over here. Nice stuff. And then I think we're gonna have DK call these two over. We might even be able to get rid of this this uh, this uh smuggler already. We're getting pretty close to it. Is this guy gonna get all the way over here? Is he gonna be a little bit too far away? I'm glad we had that extra damage for this against the uh, you know what, I probably should have had the other move. Uh, in hindsight, that would have been better if I had him have his uh, stink eye, whatever it is. But this should do some good damage. It actually does some critical, so it bounces you around, maybe enough to take you out or get at least really close. Oh, you're not happy. Oh, you're not happy. You're gonna hit him. Ouch. Oh, and it was a critical as well. Out of bounds. If you got out of bounds, I think it would have taken you out. Yeah, you're 26 damage. That's not good. <laughs> so I could jump off of you. I just don't think it benefits me at all. Jurassic like doesn't look like it. Uh, but I could get you up here. We'll try to get some work done. Like, who can I hit? Not really anybody like that. Oh, this is tough. I think we'll just keep it like this and then uh, Rabbit Peach and DK can work together because, I mean, Rabbit Cranky does deal some fair damage, which is always good. I mean, not quite enough for this situation, but you can do that which would be nice. So, you know, we're gonna go ahead and do the stink eye because this would be full blast damage if we can make this work like that. So, go ahead and blast him. Duck and cover, Cranky, Rabbit Cranky, boom. Hit him for the 41. He's gonna start moving, you know what we're gonna do? Bada boom. Got him, so that, oh, that actually might not be enough. Wow, that was really not enough. Are you kidding me? That, no, are you serious? That's not fair. How much health does this dude have? 15 health, of course he does. Okay, well that sort of does mess up my plans a little bit, but at least we got two out of the four smashers taken out. And I can only hope that means we can get more done next time. So let's go ahead and see them move away from us. So this guy's gonna move. Okay, he's not as close to the area as I thought he was gonna end up being. It looks like DK could do a number of different things here. Oh wow, a huge number of different things. Looking at this map, I'm just having to ignore the Ziggies, unfortunately. Luckily, you know, Cranky hurt, or healed himself a little bit. But I could actually heal all three of you, perfect. That's actually really good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move over to DK. Oh, he can't reach any of the pipes from here. That's gonna actually put a big fork in the plans then. I might have to just sort of leave him be. because so I was hoping I could bring him through this pipe, bring him through there, he'd pop out on this side, we'd be able to toss somebody, but we can't really reach with that. Anyways, uh, at the least we can move this way. I feel like if I wanna do that, I should do it with Rabbit Peach, who can reach the pipe. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Go ahead and do that. Sprint tackle you, and then have you wait about here, I think is gonna be a good idea. Because what we could do, we could do a couple things. Actually, let's move you about here, I think might even be smarter. Maybe. Oh, do you really have that reaction shot? I don't appreciate this right now. So unfortunately, we can't clear jump you if we do that, which totally stinks. But hey, at least I'm doing some damage to you. I can wait about here for a good reason. I'm gonna move back. Oh boy, well we just can't put people to sleep. That's actually not the biggest deal in the world. It sorta kinda stinks, but no, I can't reach because I'm the worst at this game, ah. Why? I thought that would be able to. I should've thought this out a little bit more. Anyways, at the least, I should be able to tuck you away here. Might be able to get some vamp damage on you if I hit you full blast with my other thing. This totally stinks. Uh, 
please do vamp damage, because this would do a decent chunk. 88 plus the 44, we're gonna get healed up a little bit. And then, what? Ouch, oh, and that bounced us as well. At least that sort of gets us out of harm's way a little bit more with Cranky, not really. Oh, but now that we've gotten cleared, I could just put you to sleep, but why would I do that when I can just take you out just like that? I don't know. I don't see a reason. You know what then? At the least, maybe we could help those guys out a little bit. Ah, oh, this won't quite reach. I wish it did. I so wish it did. But no, it doesn't. <laughs> okay, okay. Man, I wish he could get out farther right now. There really isn't too much DK can do in this situation. I mean, there's nothing up here, right? There's no launch pads, no? That'd be great if there was, but there isn't. So we're just gonna go ahead and I guess just toss you this way might even be smarter. That way you're not messing with our teammates at all. So go ahead and smush you and toss you. Nice, 70 damage just like that is really good. I'm glad I upgraded to that. And then the Koi Fish, can't quite get you from here. I don't think it'll be good to use most of those moves. So we're gonna go ahead and blast you, get you out of here. And we get that critical honey. Maybe I could have done that the other way around, but I didn't want to risk it. Okay, so we're gonna finish it off like that. This guy's gonna move away still. Oh, he's getting closer and closer. We need to make up that distance right now. I mean, I don't know if PK can still even reach that DK panel. He needs to. That's the thing, he really, really needs to. Uh, so we'll have to figure that out a little bit. Hmm. Everybody's beating up on poor Rabbit Peach right now. He still can. You are like super duper disappointing me right now, buddy. I gotta be honest. I mean, at the least, I can like pick this up and throw it at somebody, but ah, uh, Donkey Kong, I need you to have more movement. More movement for sure, because this is not helping. There's nothing I can do about this. DK, come on, buddy. Yeah, I guess at the least, I could just toss this at you. I can't do that for some reason. Why not? Seems like a pretty easy thing to do. Okay, then go up and get this one. And then throw it at this dude. Yeah, sure. So we'll have to get rid of this final smasher without DK's help, or at least for this round. I really don't know if we'll be able to reach next round. You would think so, but at the same time, this game has a way to surprise you sometimes. Okay. Yeah, so our best bet is to go through this pipe, slide attack him, but you know what, if I'm gonna do all that, I know we're gonna get hit in the face from you obviously, but I just gotta keep moving and deal with it. So do that, move back this way, and we'll work on more of it from there. Uh, the first thing I'll probably do is get Cranky through if I can. Uh, I don't know if he'll reach, unfortunately. I hope he can reach that pipe. If not, this is actually not gonna work at all. But, uh, oh, he's not gonna be able to, wow. Wow, I mean, if we're lucky, we might be able to toss this because it has some pretty good range. We might even be able to put him to sleep. I mean, if I were just to pop out of this pipe and then go through this pipe, yeah, that's gonna give me too much movement. So I'm just gonna wait here and see what ends up happening. I don't think I can put him to sleep from this way, but I might be able to hit him. If I could hit him in any capacity so I can get him closer, that'd be great. So let's just go ahead and hit him, just like that. Oh, he's really aiming that up. We'll get the critical. Oh, he's gonna go through the pipe. That's perfect. You wanna know why? Because now I can put him to sleep. I'm not gonna do that right away. Actually, maybe I should. Yeah, I'm gonna put him asleep right now. So all three of these guys are gonna be snoozing it up. We won't be doing any damage to them because of that, but hey, next turn. Next turn's gonna be huge. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be perfect. So Donkey Kong can finally move. He can take this panel. He can move this way. He can bunch you up. He can then throw you out another dude or you could just throw him this way. Just like this, you just toss him back. Might actually be the best idea we can have right now. So Donkey Kong, you're going the scenic route. <laughs> it works, it works, so I'm not complaining. Got him, and that should just do damage to him, right? 70 damage, that's pretty good. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get uh, you to jump off him like this, and that'll take him out, we win! Look at that! Okay, so that got a little rocky in some other spots, but we ended up making it work out overall, overall pretty well. So, battle cleared. Hopefully that is going to be a green perfect. Look at them for their happy little photo. They make just like a such, like a nice little misfit family. Okay, so 
That was right on the edge of perfect as well. Got it done in those four turns. 700 bananas plus the extra 450 plus the extra runes is very good. I don't think we have enough for any kind of rune upgrade, but I'll keep an eye out for that before we get into the next battle. But for now, oh, it's starting to rain. It's getting dark. What could be at our doorstep soon? I can't get over that way. That's kind of some kind of bonus. Is there anything over that way as well? Ooh, mysterious. Look at this. Okay, this is probably the way we're going for some secrets. Okay, there's a banana bushel. Wait, isn't this the way I just came from? It's not. Where does this pipe lead? Over this way just for an easy treasure chest? I will take it. Thank you. So this has a music note. Very cool, a uh, song. Now if we move back this way, what do we got, what do we got? Nothing, I can't reach over there just yet, but if I go up this way, yeah, there's a couple of different puzzles we can solve here, which is great, but also a tad bit confusing, <laughs> to say the least. First off, we got this guy sleeping over this way. He says, oh, it reminds me of Botticelli's The Birth of Venus, only instead of divine perfection, it's more horrid revolution, or revulsion. Yeah, he's just hanging out with a pearl. Okay, well, let's go this way. And for this one, we need both the blue and the yellow set up. And that really shouldn't be too bad, I wouldn't think. But, you know, sometimes things can fool you. You know what, this shouldn't be too bad at all. Because I could do this, and that's blue done. And you would think that would mean I could just, yeah, this is it, right here. Look at how easy that was. Perfect, we got the blue and the yellow, and that means we get a treasure chest out of it. It has another 3D model, and then was of side eye. Don't really care too much, because we won't take a look at them until we're done with everything. But for now, I can go back this way, I can head up this way, and we got a red, oh, okay. But now I can press this, and bring me that way. Ah, this is tricky. Oh, this is definitely tricky. So I think I need to undo the yellow one now. And then move back this way. Oh, I need to undo the red one now? I do. And then probably undo the green one. And then probably undo the yellow one. Or maybe even, oh, oh, that's tricky. Maybe redo the green one so I can undo the red one? No, no, no. Do that. No, I can't do that. That is so weird. Oh, that is so weird. But if I do this, I can, no, I think I just want it in a big circle. It's tough to say because I could do this, but then the problem, well, the red is how I want it. It's just a green I have to worry about. Okay. But then I can't, oh boy. Oh, this is all kinds of tough but I can do that, but then the red's messed up. Why is that so complicated? Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Why, this one's definitely, some of these are easier than others, and this is one of the ones I sort of build you up to, hoping you'd be able to solve it. I feel like this one, I'm gonna just like fiddle around a little bit until I figure it out. Cause like I could just set up the green like this, but then the problem is I don't got anywhere to go. So if I could just, I feel like I'm so close yet so far, Got it. Now we're just trying to focus on the yellow one. Oh, there you go, see? Just fiddle around until you figure it out. <laughs> and we get another music note, which is fine with me. I don't really care what we get as long as we get it. I wanna move this way. Because to me, so far, it's looking like there's no way to unlock any kind of uh, uh, power gems or anything with it. Not power gems, well, you know what I mean. They're like the relics and stuff. So that way I've gone. I've already solved that puzzle. I can go this way now and probably just go back to the main path because we got that chest. There is a puzzle piece waiting for me this way. And will this just bring me to it? It won't. How do I get to that? Oh my. Okay, this is bringing me all over the place. So first off, go this way. Because I think this will bring me to that puzzle piece, which I really, really want. Puzzle piece, here I come. Seven out of 20. Seven out of 20. Perfect. So what is this about then? If we go back. And we go forward, it'll probably be the next battle up and ready. Yeah, look at this, we got battle number three. Wonder how many battles there are in total, I don't really know. But hey, get washing machine parts back, I would love to. Oh, we finally have bucklers. You know what, we should probably go ahead and check everything out, because we probably have a new weapon or two to buy. There is a lot going on here with these bucklers. They're new to 
was for right now. Ooh, cinematic shot. It is the buckler. Much maligned hide behind. <laughs> okay, this time the collectors brought in their big brothers, the bucklers, big, bad, and shielded. Here's a tip, you'll need to flank bucklers so your attack, your attacks aren't blocked by that shield of theirs. Okay, so let's go to our battle HQ, because we should have at least a weapon selection. We might have more than that, and I'll check it out soon. But uh, what new stuff do I want to buy is the big question. I already bought, you know, the watermelon here, but maybe, and I already bought that. So really, the only thing I can buy is a new thing for uh, Rabbit Peach. We either have the Pisces Crisis, patient and impregnable. This deep sea deployable may not look as mean as its coastal counterparts, but when it pounces, foes are pummeled. And this does 50 to 60 damage, it does that honey damage, and does bonus damage to hoppers. This does bonus damage to collectors, but does push damage, and it's the undersea banshee. From the haunted depths of the ocean comes this diabolical deployable to herald the destruction of its enemies with its wretched war cry. I think we're just gonna go ahead with the Pisces Crisis. The Pisces Crises, I guess it's supposed to be. Did I equip it? No, I didn't. Let's go ahead and equip it. Got it, okay. Very cool, maybe I should check out the skill tree as well. Okay. Uh, skill tree. Now they only have two points. I wanted extra heals for you. Oh, I could do heal range, which is nice. And then, but the cooldown is really important. So we're gonna save up the three for that, and then you have two points, which I think we wanted the, oh, what did we want for you? We wanted extra stink eye damage, which is always good. I'll go ahead and do that now. Well, oh, we wanted the times two Amadingus. Okay, so we need two more points for you for that times two. I mean, we could undo it, but I don't want to. We gotta get all that stuff eventually. So yeah, let's take a look at everything. We need to get the washing machine parts back. Uh, there's a collector over here who has one. There's a collector over here, and there should be one more somewhere. Don't know where that is, maybe the guy pops up later. Oh, there's two over here, so yeah, there's a collector over this way as well. Okay, so I think my best bet is probably getting DK doing some stuff. So I could go ahead and grab somebody like you, go up this way, go through the pipe, gets me a little bit extra movement, and then I could just throw you over to this guy. We could do a ton of damage if we land this just right. We do have to be careful about how the bucklers work, so this could end up being real risky, but we could actually end up putting some of them asleep, and that would make for a huge bonus. And we have so much movement, as you can see, and that's gonna make some big differences as well. So for right now, we're gonna leave it like that. I could get some crazy bounces that way. I could not bounce you that way, or hit you this way. Um, for now, Rabbit Peach can't get up there. Oh no, she can get up here, though. I could slide tackle you, because why not? And slide tackle you, and then like wait about here? Or I could even just send her through this pipe, have some more fun this way. <laughs> I don't know if that's worth my while, but we could try it. Yeah, let's try that. Get the movement down, and then we'll move from there. I mean, I don't think Rabbit Cranky's moved, which is actually pretty good for him. Okie doke. We have a 100% chance of hitting you, which is nice. You know what, we might go for that because you're just sort of in a painful area anyways, but I would love to do this. That would hurt you and that'd be so good. So you know what, we're gonna go ahead and try that. And kaboom, that bounced me though, which was that for better, was that for worse? I guess we're about to find out. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the block on. And then if we move over to Cranky, we have a couple of different options I'm sure you've noticed. If we slide tackle these guys, I can only slide tackle one person here. Is DK in my range? Unfortunately, he's not. So if I really wanna make this work, I might want to mix some things up. Cause I don't know if I can hit for 70. That's sort of a you know a situation I got myself into here. So I'm thinking that if we could just do this, and then maybe just put that guy to sleep or put on the stink eye. I think it'd be better to put him to sleep though. This'll take you out for sure, which is excellent. That's some critical vamp as well, but we didn't take any damage. There is our part which might be difficult to get to, but at least we can put these two guys to sleep, and that'll be some good advantage. And now DK, you could do that, you could do this guy, and that actually will get him, but it will also wake him up. This'll call over who? Just as one? Yeah, not worth it. So we're gonna go ahead and do this crazy combo to the right with this, and sort of see what ends up happening. Oh, and we're getting that triple crit. Maybe for better or for worse, there's some characters over there I actually didn't want to bounce off closer to Rapid Peach. So see, she might end up taking some damage there. And then I think we'll leave it like that. Enemies are going to start moving. We have this collector over that way, who is getting close. Oh, 
Oh, wow, look at how far he can move. I guess because of the fact that they can't do any damage, they have incredible movement range. Now, you are honeyed, so I don't really know if that buckler is gonna be able to do too much. But you might have noticed that two of the, the remaining collectors uh, are bunched up. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna ignore the bucklers. We're gonna move this way. We're gonna go over this way. Uh, yeah, this seems pretty perfect to me because I could just put you this way and then have you slam down on these two fools. That sounds perfect. The only problem is I would actually like DK to go down this way. Yep, that actually would be better for me because then we can call them over afterwards after they've taken a ton of damage. Oh, that would be so perfect. So let's go ahead and do this. Got it, and okay, so you're gonna do some damage to us as long as it's not too bad. Looks like it isn't too bad. I was worried we'd get frozen, we get the freeze damage. Toss that, boom. That's pretty gosh darn good. We can then turn our focus to Rabbit Peach because she can move back this way and do a couple of things as well, maybe. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, hard to tell. Yeah, so let's get you this way. I think that we could simply blast one of them, but once again, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I could just full on get rid of you like this. Oh, that would be really good actually. Let's go ahead and full on get rid of you. It won't take you out unless we get a lucky crit. We do get a lucky crit, will it be enough? It will be. And you haven't moved yet. So we have some options. If we put on Stink Eye for you, it would endanger Donkey Kong. But if we do Hairy Eye instead, it could work. But for right now, let's just go ahead and get these guys over here. I don't trust it because I don't know if you'd just end up using it on that Ziggy. So we're just gonna do that for now. And I think we can just get rid of him this way. That would do 70 damage. This would almost get rid of him. Oh, that's sort of a shame. Come on, come on. Actually, that might be enough, but we want to be able to get that third piece. You run after you get hit. I keep forgetting that. Okay, next turn for you, but Cranky. Oh man, if I could have gotten a lucky crit there, that would have been all I needed. I could have jumped over somebody and got them that way, though. Okay, well, good to know for next time. Where is he now? He's way over that way. I don't know what the blinky noise is. I guess it's just um, the game telling us, like, hey, uh, stuff. <laughs> I don't know what stuff, but stuff. We'll just go ahead and get these two pieces for sure. And then hopefully by next turn we should be able to get a win, depending on how and where the collectors move. We'll get the stink eye out because I think it would be helpful. And can we do really anything else? We could blast you, it won't do any damage. We can't reach you. Um, healing would actually reach all three. It doesn't really do too much except for uh, Rabbit Peach herself, but it's something. So we're gonna go ahead and heal. You're going to move. You have one health, that is not fair. Where are you moving to? Nobody truly knows. Go ahead and move, see what happens. I get to treat you the way you treated me. Okay, so you're gonna move that way. That's fine. So you know, you guys should probably know what I'm about to do here. I'm gonna have Donkey Kong throw us and then that character will be able to move over. So I think it'd be pretty simple and easy just to, oh boy, maybe it wouldn't be. I mean, I could just have you hop up like this, then I can pick you up, then I can run over here, then I can throw you like this, and then you can get over and everything will be perfect. I mean, I guess I could have used more of these uh, swinging platform areas, but as long as Rabbit Peach can go over that way, and then we can do this, and then we should, oh no. I sort of did that wrong. The only problem is that I can't pick it up now. Oh boy, why do I never think anything through? Because I could get over there, but picking it up is not gonna happen this turn. I mean, I'll try, but luckily, hopefully it'll be at by turn four again, like before. Can I not? Oh, I can do damage, but. Yeah, from here. I guess that's good, because I can't pick it up from over there anyway, so we might as well just do some extra damage to somebody. If that's gonna be you, it's gonna be you. Okay, so that freezes you. We could hit you like that, but it'll hit poor old DK. If we could, we could throw the koi, but it won't do too much. Okay. In the meantime, let's mess with some dudes. This does more damage, it doesn't hurt Rabbit Peach. You bet I'm gonna do it. Okay. And got it. Ooh, and it did some bounce, which is interesting. Don't know if it's entirely helpful, but it's interesting. You know, this doesn't hurt DK too much, but I would rather do this to this guy, that way he's gone. Now let's get rid of him. I mean, I don't, it doesn't really help me too much to get rid of these guys at this rate, but hey, if I can get some extra bananas out of it, that's always good too. Okay, can't do too much to you except for set this up, so if you move, you're done. Because I can throw this koi. Not gonna do much. Okay, enemy turn. They're just gonna hit DK, poor dude, didn't deserve it, but it's what he gets. Okay, so we're leaving it like that. <laughs> you moved, you shouldn't have done that. 
And we just got one last piece to get. If I planned it better, I could have gotten it last turn, but I didn't. So, our heroes are gonna go and pick up all these bananas real quick, and then go ahead and grab the final piece of laundry. Machine. <laughs> it's not laundry. <laughs> Battle cleared, but was it perfect? I sure hope so. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, please, 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 please. Yeah, we actually had six turns for that one. Crazy, I thought it was gonna be four again. We could have almost done it in three. Half the perfect requirement. We got an extra 450 there, the 700 base bananas, so we're already up to 1,678. Uh, that's very, very nice. So we're gonna keep moving and see what else we might be able to tackle in this wild Donkey Kong world. This guy's trying to get a note out of a bottle. They're frantically trying to intercept that message. Imagine their disappointment when they find out it's just pizza coupons. That's how I feel whenever I open up the mail. Oh my gosh, I just summarized my entire life. I'm like, oh, I just got a, a letter in the mail. Nope, it's just pizza. I mean, I love pizza, don't get me wrong, but I know where to buy the good pizza. I've learned all the, all the tricks. Oh my, this is creepy. There's some bananas there on a, on a, on a string. Another closed gate, but hey, look at this. Ornate coral organ. Makes you want to tickle the old ivories. Okay. By pushing this button on the piano, we'll play automatically. Cool, but what'd be the use of that? I'm guessing it's gonna be a Simon Says kind of thing. Let's try it out. Red, red, blue, no, is that blue? It might be blue. Uh, so red, red, blue. I wanna say it's blue, and then this is like cyan. Blue. Yeah, okay, there's the first one done. We're figuring it out, ain't too bad. Green, cyan, green, orange, okay. Green, cyan, green, orange. Yeah. Okay, so, orange, orange, purple, cyan, blue, cyan, yellow. Oh gosh, orange, orange, Purple, blue, cyan, blue. No, it's wrong, you stinker. Okay, try that again. Orange, orange, purple, cyan, blue, cyan, yellow. I thought that's what I did, but I guess it wasn't. Orange, orange, purple, cyan, blue, cyan, yellow. So none of those use green. I don't think. Maybe one of them used green, but it was definitely the most underused color. All right, the gate is open. Plus, a secret banana button appeared. Come on, shed some more licks on those ivories. Okay, calm down with the terminology. Uh, let's try this. Red, red, yellow, green, blue, or cyan, blue, blue, purple, blue, green. Oh gosh. No, I'm gonna get it wrong. Uh, okay, you know, I might have to write this down. Well, let's try it again. Red, red, yellow, green. Okay, so it goes. No, I think I messed up the last one. What was the last one? It's red, red, yellow, green, cyan, blue, blue, purple. Ah, oh, okay, I got it, I got it. I have like the song stuck in my head. And then green. Yeah, we did it! And that should be another uh, extra weapon for somebody. That's exciting. Oh, it's a DK theme. Anyways, let's see if we can't get ourselves an extra weapon out of this one. Last time we did this, it was super intense. We just barely succeeded. Oh, it's something different. Definitely different from last time. Will this be us riding on a minecart? I don't think so, but it would be so cool if it was. So cool. I love the minecart levels in Donkey Kong, even if they're super difficult. Three, two, one, and go! We need to do something. There's a blue, we press the button, it brings us up there. Oh, okay, so we need to sort of pay attention to what's going on here because, wait, how does that work? I can't just plop down. Maybe, oh, oh, I get it! Yellow down, go back down here, press the blue, go down this way. Oh my gosh, this is really a puzzle. 
Okay, um, so now I could go back this way, and I think we're, oh no, hold on. Red? Yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. Press the blue one again, go this way. We're making it work, we're making it work. The only goal is to get to the end. If we can figure that out, everything will be perfect. And we're almost there, almost there, almost there, almost there. I did it the blue, go down this way. We only have a couple seconds left though. Okay, oh, I'll press the yellow, no! Okay, I know what to do though. I know exactly what to do. I got confused at the beginning, but not any longer. It sort of stinks that it boots us all the way back out to the main area and doesn't give us a retry. That's sort of just weird. Cause now I gotta reload the whole thing. But I know what I'm doing this time. Shouldn't be too bad. I was getting confused about the whole idea. But I got it now. Shouldn't be too bad. So skip this, we already know what we're doing. Three, two, one. Go. Press the blue, get up here, press the yellow, go back down, press the blue, go like this. Activate both of them. Perfect. Go back this way and activate both of them. Perfect. Go like this, activate the blue, grab a banana, go back this way, push the mine cart. That's gonna lower the reds. Go this way, activate the blue, go back, activate the yellow, and then go. Activate the blue again. I'll press the mine cart, which will activate the blue or the yellow. You know what I mean. And that should be it, we won, we won. So we only had to activate the yellow. Yeah, so we get ourselves a brand new weapon for the Battle HQ. I wonder who it's gonna be for, I guess we'll find out as we take a selfie. The mid-boss hot sauce, new weapon unlocked. Mid-boss is proving unmanageable, spice things up with this ground pound that's guaranteed to make them sweat. So actually, good against mid-bosses, that's a fun idea. I don't think we have any weapons like that in the main game where there's specifically good bonus damage to mid bosses. Like that's a cool idea, I really like that. So that is a little bit more progress done. We solved this whole music thing. <laughs> okay, so let's go this way. This is the way we were supposed to go. Before I wanted to go and do a whole bunch of extra stuff. It looks like the main way is that way, so if we get this way first and solve ourselves another block puzzle, that may be what I wanna try to do. Oh, there's like a jump here or a ramp. Okay. Huh. What do I want to do about all of this then? If I press this button. Hmm. From that though, we could push this here and then activate this button. I don't know if that's actually a good idea or not. But maybe it would work? I don't know what we're really trying to do. Yeah, where are we trying to get these blocks though? Like where's the final destination? Oh, do I understand? I might, if I were to push this like, like can I? Yeah, okay. So I need this one this way. To do that, I'd probably want to reactivate the red. I would want to, actually would I? Yeah, I think so. Maybe not right away though. I mean, here's my only chance. So maybe I should just try it while I can. No, 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 okay, so yeah, perfect. Let's go ahead and just unactivate that. Push this this way as soon as I can. Because I think I know what I'm supposed to do here. I'm supposed to push it like this. Oh, but you can push it like that. Because of this block. But maybe from here I could do something else? Yeah, like that. Go back down this way. The only problem now is it's a little weird, but I actually can solve this pretty easily by going like this, going up like that, going this way. Oh, okay. Let's try lowering the red. Cause then I could, actually before we lower the red, let me, oh this is tough. Would that work though? Oh this is so tough. I don't know how I feel about that. You know what, let's lower the red again. Because if I were just to lower the red, push this this way, and the other one, like this one's not as e or di e difficult to get because we can just actually do that with one, one block. But if I push this like that, there's one of them done. The other one shouldn't be too bad because we could just go ahead and activate the red now. I mean, is that worth my while? It seems like it. Hard to tell, but I think it is. Because we could go like this, I could go like that. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm looking for. And that should be the puzzle solved. It is, so another treasure chest for us. And I see some bananas over there. I don't wanna forget about those because there's a puzzle piece behind it. Very good to know. We got ourselves some more music. Music scales, apparently. 
and we can get another puzzle piece. Looking beautiful. So we can keep moving. I hear some rabbits having fun. Don't really see them though. Oh, they're hopping on this rib cage. Okay, what's, what's going on with you guys? Just skateboarding, backside 20, 270 nose blunt into a switch flip, bro, bust it out. Don't think those are actually skateboard names or moves or whatever. Anyways, this might be our last level today because my voice is getting really tired, but it's level four. Oh, maybe this is the mid boss already. Is that, is that side eye? Oh no, this is somebody different. Somebody potentially must, much worse. It is. I don't know. The Smasher with a shark costume. <laughs> he digs underground though, oh no. I don't like that, it's a sand shark. What in the world? Oh, where'd he go? He's right there. He is Finn, one shark feeding friends and he's missing an eye. He's using an octopus and the octopus looks angry. Oh my gosh, this is scary. <laughs> okay, and defeat the mid boss. So we have a couple things we gotta do. We wanna go ahead and upgrade to Donkey Kong's new slam because that uh, is good against mid bosses. Look at that giant hammer he has. Quite crazy. So let's go ahead and fight. No, no, no. That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> Restart the battle. <laughs> I, just, I just realized what I said and what I did. And I felt like such a dingus. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the new one. We already read it, it was the mid boss hot sauce, so we'll go ahead and equip that. It makes me think, how many more? Oh, there's plenty more. Okay, so we got lots more to go when it comes to unlocking stuff, but for right now, we got the uh, mid boss hot sauce. So that'll be good, it does also the same amount of damage, but it'll be good against mid bosses, so I feel like it was a good investment. And we don't really have too many other weapons, so I think that's really all we wanna dedicate our cash to for now, just because, I mean, I could upgrade it, but it won't really be a damage upgrade. It would just be a situation upgrade, depending on what enemies we're going against. So I feel like we're good with what we have, we'll save our money. Um, for the skill tree, though, we have three points for Rabbit Peach, and we wanted that for what? The Mega Heal or the Heal Range? The cooldown, let's go ahead and get that. Okay, that sounds good. And for you, you still have two points, you need three DK, wanted what? Or what did I want for DK? All in the same, right? All in the same. Uh, I can't remember. I mean, we could have, we've upgraded a good chunk for him here on the uh, movement side. We can't do any more. We could do high ground bonus, uh, coverage, cover high damage bonus, primary, or primary primate, increases the attack range for the primary weapon. That sounds good. Uh, we could do something like that with his two points. You know, we could put one of those in there. We could up the hairy eye damage. Oh, there's a lot of options for him, for sure. But I think he just needs extra movement. I think extra movement would be great, maybe extra pipe range. Uh, I think that would end up making him more effective. So we'll get going with that, and let's get started. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, back to making that mistake again, every couple of seconds. Let's go back, we're in a fight, and where is that mid boss? He's over that way, and we take a look at him. He ha he's Finn, he has 600 health, 38 cells of movement. He has Shark Rage, which has six cells of movement. Octo Hammer does seven damage, or 70 damage. Prying Eyes Deny are immune to reaction shots while moving. So just like the other mid boss, uh, Side Eye. So our Stink Eye movements won't really be too good against him. Uh, shark Damage, or Shark Rage Damage is 20. Villain Sight one shot. So he actually has the Villain Sight, which is sort of stinky, because we can't use it against him. Anyways. What do we want to do? I probably want to bunch up uh, Cranky here. I want to move him this way. Can't really do too much to you. What I could do is just sort of move our way out. That way Cranky can do some good stuff. Like, could we damage you from here? You bet we could. Okay, that might be not so bad. I mean, I want to be a ton of movement, but remember that Cranky doesn't actually get any movement out of that, so he can actually still use his. So, that didn't do any damage. No, it didn't do damage, okay. And then we can do a bunch of damage to you this way, which would be perfect, because it's a buckler. Always good to damage these guys whenever we can. Guess I should have done the hairy eye, that way I could have actually done a little bit more to it. But for now we can do this. We can get over there with Rabbit Peach, maybe even take him out. Yes we can, look at that. Uh, the only problem is we can't do too much more with her, except for, you know, just make her attack somebody else. So that's good. He has his hairy eye for anybody else that might run around. I'm not really sure if that'll be anybody, but we'll find out together. I'm. Wishing that I kept it for something else, the hairy eye, but for now, 
Doing this won't be helpful. Doing this will be very helpful. Can we land whatever critical we have? Yeah, so you're honeyed, which means you should still be able to attack us, unfortunately, but it shouldn't do too much damage. Now, I don't want to end the turn because we can still make Rabbit Cranky move. Uh, Where does this pipe lead? Way out this way? That's actually pretty good because then I can move here. I could probably just start hitting the mid boss right away if that's something I wanted to do, which I think it is. So let's give that a shot. I mean, I could either hit you or I could hit you. And I could hit you for much more if we do the shell and melon. So we're doing that one. Well, not a critical. Is he gonna move over this way? He does. Oh, and he has a lot of movement too. That's scary. So I could go ahead and do long story, put him to sleep for now, just protect Cranky for a little bit longer. I think that's gonna be a good idea. Okie doke. So Rabbit Peach, you're gonna stay how you are. Donkey Kong can't do anything more, so we're good with this turn. You're asleep, so yep, you won't be able to do anything this turn, which is perfect. Okay, the only scary thing here is that there really isn't too much I can do to move Donkey Kong around. I mean, I'll do what I can, but that might not be much, you know? Okay, so your honey should end after this. There's only, really, I think that I can actually take you out before you have that, uh, enemy shot, oh, you'll be blasting me, hopefully. Oh, this should do damage to him, though, if he did attack. He actually decided not to, which is interesting. I, I don't blame him. I wouldn't wanna get in trouble with the boss, either. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out what's the best way to go about all of this, because I could just get him over here. Yeah, that might be good. Okay. I just hope I can get Donkey Kong over here in some way, so that will actually blast us, which is sort of a pain. Anyways, but I don't know if Donkey Kong will reach. I sure hope he does. We might have to like have him zigzag between the pipes to really make it work, but I think it could. If we just make you, ah, oh, but he still can't reach DK. We need more range on you, dude. Okay, so you know what might be better then? Is just go this way, go like this, and ah. Oh, if I could just do some bongos on that, dude, it would be perfect. For now though, might as well get rid of this guy, just like that. And that should be pretty good. Oh, oh, out of bounds as well, that's nice. And if this works out the way I want it to. Oh, it, don't, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't. Yeah, next time I gotta do the bongos on you. I could hit you, but I don't know if when you move. Oh, it's tough to say. So that's not good angles for anything. This is really tough. But remember the, yeah, Cranky still has yet to move. That can make things a, little, a lot more doable here. Because I could just go ahead and do this. Because actually, no, I already know that when we attack him, he does move. So if we were to activate Stink Eye, I mean, this will do a lot of damage to him, but unfortunately, it won't fully take him out. And have we attacked with Rabbit Peach? We have not. So we can go ahead and do this, but the risk is, will that end up hurting Rabbit Peach? It won't. Okay, so. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and attack with this. No, I attack, oh my gosh, I might be the biggest dingus in the world. No, confirmed, I'm the biggest dingus, I didn't mean to do that. We should still be able to hit him twice with this, but man, that could have been so much better if I just actually paid attention. Okay, we hit for 62. That actually does hurt Rapid Peach a little bit. Okay, this one might not be as much. Boom, immune! So he's just immune while moving to that. It's not even that he usually just goes under. Wow. Okay, so with that being said, I mean, I really don't know what I wanna do next. I, I really can't do too much, so maybe we should just leave it be. I know that Cranky's going to get a little beat up this time, probably, but he does have, oh no, he's gonna go right for DK. I was not expecting that was a little bit of a sneak up. Okay, that's fine though, because we really have a lot we can work with here that I'm excited to give a shot to. Um, I'm thinking that we should, oh, we can do a couple of things. First off, I'm just gonna, I wish I could you know, bunch you up, I can't though. Um, I guess it would be smart just to go ahead. Oh, I can't quite reach that. That's tough then. There's a couple of options, but they're not the ones I was looking into because I really prefer. Anyways. Oh, yeah. You know what might be better for right now? Would she be in the range for this? She would be. Okay. Hmm. She can heal. Indeed she can. So I'm thinking that we'll heal up these two since they're here. Uh, I know Cranky does need some heals as well, but not as much since he didn't actually get attacked from the boss. We'll go ahead and do some slide tackles I think would be nice as well. 
even if it is just, you know, to damage you up a little bit, then move you this way. Yeah, I think that would be good, because then we can do a couple of things. We can go ahead and do the sentry, which would be really nice. We're gonna be able to break your shield. Uh, I could, as DK, call these guys over. I wonder, does that call over Rabbit Peach? It shouldn't, right? Okay, I was gonna get a little bit worried. So that'll mess up my plans. But we already do extra mid-boss damage like this. You're healed up, so that should be helpful as well. And we should all they should all be in the range up to do this, and this will bring you down a couple of notches, which is always good. It's not gonna be a critical, which is unfortunate, but it brings you down to one in health. Okay, so you're mad, you're going to attack. Oh, you bouncing us actually does mess up my plans a tiny bit, but not too much. Um, Because at this rate, there's a couple things I can do. Can you reach out to, oh, you can't, that's unfortunate. Okay, so you're at 275 health, that's even better. And you haven't moved yet, Donkey Kong, so I don't mean to say that in an angry way, but uh, it's true that you haven't moved yet. I'm thinking that maybe we could just set you up with something, you know, that might be good, something like this. And then I could actually push you out of bounds, which will do extra damage to you, which would be really nice. So boom, push you out of bounds, doing 60 damage instead of 30, which is a beautiful, beautiful sight. Then we can just go ahead and hit you with the sentry. It'll hit you dead on. It'll do a good chunk of damage, which would be fantastic. Let's go for it. Let's see what ends up happening. Might even be a critical, which actually a critical wouldn't be that great in this specific situation, but we're gonna get it. Uh, because I don't know if Cranky can reach now. If he could just run out this way, uh, I wish I could tell. You know, I think this might be better is over here. Okay, so let's go ahead and make you go over this way. Because we're trying to find a good spot to hit him. I think it's gonna be better with the uh, secondary than it would be the primary. Looks like it, so we're gonna hit you with this. This will get some vamp damage. You are stuck, so you aren't gonna be able to do anything this turn. Things are turning out pretty good. Enemies are gonna move but it's just one buckler. Oh no, we got uh, like a Ziggy or something this way. Not really that big of a deal whatsoever. Okay, so what do we wanna do against you? We have so many options. I mean, we could run up and do a couple of moves for sure. I think to start things off, uh, we have heroes moving around. I think we should tackle you, tackle you, wait back, I think, even back over this way so that Cranky can jump off of you. You're going to hit us, but it, oh, it's a critical freeze, but that's not that big of a deal because most of our uh, moves that we'd use, we're not gonna use right now because we're about to win. Um, yeah, we're definitely about to win. I just need you to jump off and land about here. That shouldn't hit any of our teammates so that we're not accidentally taking any of them out, which means we just got the win. See you, Finn. There's another key for us. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Oh, look, he's so happy. So I guess he got combined with a little shark toy. Interesting, battle cleared. I like it, and that should have been imperfect. Everything went pretty gosh darn well in that battle. We got four out of four for the turns, plus 200 bananas, three times over, so plus 600, including the 1400 we got from just winning. New weapons available, visit the Battle HQ. Tons of awesome stuff, nearly 3,000 bananas in total right now, which is awesome as well. I feel like there weren't too many collectibles in this area, but looking around, I don't see too many more. So you know what, maybe it's just better to move forward. If we miss anything, we can get it later on, but that's probably the second roll done, I would have to imagine. We have both of the keys so we can open up that door, which I figure we'll do at the beginning of next episode. But for now, I'll get to the door, I'll upgrade our friends, our rabbits and monkeys and whatever else we might have, and move forward with all of that. And then next episode, we'll get started with opening the door and seeing what's on the other side. I think the uh, temple or whatever. Oh, wow, we just get there already. Okay, this is not what I was expecting, but hey, we'll check it out. Open the door and, oh, oh. You gotta put it in upside down. Come on, you can do it. Oh, oh, you, you got it. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> oh boy, the door is open. Almost, hold on. There you go. Oh my. So what in the world are we gonna find in here? What troublesome treasuries. Will we find in World 3? We'll have to wait till the next episode. For now though, we can go ahead and go to our weapon selection, probably get a couple of upgrades. <gasps> the Law of McCall, an obvious Squawks reference, that is so cool. Uh, your enemies are about to learn a serious lesson courtesy of the School of Hard Squawks and this officially licensed signature Boananarang. Wow, I like that. So that's actually Bonus damage to summoners? I think that's a new character then. And then we have bonus damage to the bucklers over here with the wiener whacker. Trust us, you don't want to know what this banana rang, what's in this banana rang, 
Just enjoy it. Okay, that one's weird. I think we're gonna stick with this one. Uh, got it. And then if we move this way, what do we got going on? We have Quake Like a Leaf. It's a blaster wrapped in razor sharp palm fronds. This blaster, like the leaves it's made of, is the very symbol of victory itself. And that has honey damage, but it's not good against smashers. It's better, better against hoppers. I like it though. We're gonna go ahead and get that one. And then uh, we don't quite have enough for these upgrades, but we'll get them soon. We have the, uh, well, you know, we'll check these out once we get them, right? <laughs> But yeah, very, very awesome stuff. I saw another DK reference for that one crossbow. That'll be super cool. And then we have two points for you, which is always good. Uh, I think we honestly might just develop those back into his movement range. It's still been something that's actively in the way is the fact that he can't reach stuff. Um, and then you can go ahead and get that upgrade. What is something that costs one, the long story range? I don't know how I feel about that one. I think it would be smarter to go for something like the team jump range is always good. Or we could do dash damage. I think we'll save for dash damage and then we'll make sure that Rabbit Peach has whatever upgrade she needs. She needs two points for her heal range. And then the cooldown, we can't, or oh no, wrong cooldown, this one right here. Okay, so we should probably go ahead and get the 70% HP, which we need one more point for. That means that we have a lot to do that we'll be getting started with in the next episode of Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle, the Donkey Kong Adventure. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Zebra Banana, so now you've watched to the end that you are a Zebra Task viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye bye.